Oh my gosh, this is Robbie from Southern California. I think I made a big mistake and I want you not to do this because this just brought in a ton of birds. There has been chaos. Remember the other day I showed you how to take a cat and, or dog pet fountain and we can convert it and change it over so the hummingbirds can take a bath? Well, everything was going great. I colored it up, showed you how we could deck it out and put it out on a patio wherever you want to put it. The hummingbirds were taking a bath. They were coming in one by one. It was beautiful. And then I thought, well, I'm going to do something different. Why not just go ahead and change it up a little bit. So I took it all apart and I went ahead and got this terracotta pot and it looked beautiful. I thought, oh wow, we'll see what happens. And I just stepped back and all of a sudden, chaos. This is no joke. There were hummingbirds everywhere, fighting, screaming, yelling, attacking each other. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I wasn't sure what to do, but you know what? Things did calm down. And let me show you what I did, and maybe you'll want to do this too. I don't know, but you'll see as the day went on how it all ended up. But this could be a fun change because now we've just taken this pet fountain for them to drink water out of, and we turned it into a beautiful bird bath. This was so incredibly easy to do. So I'm going to show you step by step how we did it, which should take all of two minutes. And now you'll be able to change yours over if you choose to, just to have something different. So all joking aside, and though there really was fighting, things did calm down, but let's talk about this for a minute and then I'll show you because it's all of like two minutes on how to put this together. Hummingbirds really do like terracotta. Now what's the reason? They can grip on that. You don't have to do anything. There's no putting any perches or anything on it. Their tiny nails can adhere to the terracotta pot and they can maneuver, walk around on it. Well, they don't really walk, but they can easily move on that and grip onto the sides and everything. Plastic, you know how we make a lot of different fountains using different plastic objects and we have to kind of scratch it up a little bit so they have a place to grip or we take a glue gun and we put on a glue perch. With this, there's nothing to it. You can get any shape of terracotta pot you want. It just so happens I found this. I can't remember if I picked it up at Home Depot or Lowe's. It was just a few bucks and you can pick out the one that you want. Now rocks they grip on, wood they grip on. It's like if they would go to a, the side of a lake or a little river and they would kind of splash around a little bit. Well, this is what this is like. It's very natural. It has been just phenomenal. Let me tell you something. A lot of times I make a fountain, I put it out there and it takes them maybe an hour or two, maybe even a day or two to find it and it could take longer. This is for real. I put it out there in a matter of minutes. One found it and then they all started coming to it and they were quarreling and everything because they found something they absolutely love. It was something they were used to. They can grip onto it. They felt comfortable. And this is what I try to do with the birds around here. We try to give them plenty of food, plenty of flowers for the hummingbirds and plenty of water for both drinking and bathing. And that is so important to them because they get sticky all day going through nectar and everything. Now, I love these pet fountains. You're gonna see me coming out with a lot of them this year, different fashions on these because I love them. And it's just like, see how cloudy it was? Now, today was a sunny day and yes, I can run my solar, but the solar only works when we have sun. It can work with a little bit of sun, but if you don't have enough sun, it won't pump. And these have been fantastic. You don't need an outlet to plug it in. Where You can go back and watch the video. You don't have an outlet, stick these anywhere you want. This is one of my favorite. And just so you know, as you can see here, the hummingbirds started coming in two by two, and they are just all bathing happily. I did decide to try this in my bird garden. I moved it this morning, and within minutes, you had all kinds of birds coming to it. The house finches have been coming to take a drink. And then we also had other birds coming like doves. Oh, right away because the tray, as you notice here, I removed the blue top tray. Now they have about an inch of water. The doves can come and splash and drink in it comfortably. And of course the hummingbird came and said, hey, I know this. It was sitting on your deck. Now you put it here. I was looking for it. They were looking for it when I moved it but that's okay. I'm going to make a few more and different styles. And you know, if you've got questions, please ask the questions. We'll get into how we're going to make this and how we can decorate it easily. 
Yes, you can paint them, but I'm gonna show you some easy ways we can do it. It may not cost you a single thing, might cost you a dollar, but either way, you can deck this thing out. And then a Rufus came while I was sitting there. I was getting ready to pack up and go put this video together, but it was like, no, don't take my fountain. I left it out there. And this Rufus came and he's just splashing around and just doing his thing. So this is why terracotta is beautiful. You don't have to paint it, you leave it natural. It's natural for them and they can come splash and sit and do what they want. It probably will attract them if you're using something else to your fountains if you're not having any luck with that. Because, well, it's just something they seem to know. Maybe they can see it. They have really good eyesight and they can see it's porous enough for them to grip onto. Either way, it's worked beautifully, and I so love how they come in twos and pairs to come bathe together in the garden. Now, let's get in and show you how we can put this together in a matter of a few minutes. So now we're going to change this up. First, we want to unplug it. It makes it much easier to work with. There's my power bank. Now, this is USB fountain. Remember, go back and see the original video, exactly what we need. It's so easy to find, and then you'll be able to make all these fountains. Now, this is a jumbo straw. You can get it at any party store, most grocery stores, Walmart, Target, everybody sells them. So it's easy to find a package of jumbo straws. Now, you can see here, the blue plate will not fit, so I'm not using it. We don't need it. Now, this is a terracotta pot real cheap. I bought it, I can't remember, either Home Depot or Lowe's. I walked in there and I loved the shape of it. I knew I was going to make a fountain out of it. I had no idea I was going to put it on a pet fountain, but I held on to it and now I found a use for it. So right now we're going to trim the straw down because you don't need it so tall. So now we're going to take it off and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the straw a little bit thicker. It's really easy to do. You could skip this, but this is just something I like to do. So I take a few pieces of straw and I slice them up like you saw in the other video, and I just keep wrapping the straw. You can put on one, two, five, it doesn't matter. It'll make it a little thicker, and this way it won't shake as much. Since this terracotta pot had a great big hole, which I could actually put a few more on for now, I'm just gonna leave it. That's all there is to it. Now, I told you, two minutes, less than that. We plug the USB plug back into the power bank and we are good to go. Is this not gorgeous? And with terracotta, let me tell you something, hummingbirds love it because it's just like landing on a rock. They can sit on the top, they can sit on the side. Their little tiny sharp nails can hold on to this so good, they can land anywhere they want and just scrub the dickens out of their face because they get pollen and nectar and everything on it and they need to clean. So that's all you need to do is go find the terracotta pot of your liking. Go to the store, look around, just make sure it's not too big and it will fit the top of your pet fountain. Now this is what the pet fountain looked originally like. And you know how we did on this stand here where he's sitting, we had to use a hot glue gun and make a little perch to give him a little bit more of a grip because it's plastic. This is how we decorated it. I showed you with the fabric. I'll show you in a second how we can do it Decorating too. it up. This is by painting it. That's just fabric. By doing it this way, there's no painting or anything and it's the easiest thing to do and you probably have something in the closet you don't like, as long as the fabric is stretchy. Something they use more for leggings. Here's a pair of leggings I picked up at the thrift store for a dollar and I'm gonna have plenty of fabric to do all kinds of things. I can even cover flower pots. All you have to do is cut the bottom someplace where you've got enough room where it's gonna slip over your pet fountain. There's it no sewing or anything. Take and these stretchy seconds. fabrics that they do make leggings out of, they don't even unravel. So you don't have to do anything but just cut it and slip it on. And let me tell you something on these fountains. You can get any of the pet fountains you want, any style, as long as it's got a USB plug. This is the one I got, but there's plenty of other styles. And you know what? Turn it around and stick some stickers on it. Those stickers, I picked them up at Dollar Tree for a dollar, a whole sheet of them. The backside is solid white. The front side has the window so you can see and if your pet is out of water, it's got a little light, just turn it around. And now you don't have to do anything. You don't have to look for fabric or nothing. And if you're really handy, you can just paint some flowers or something on it too. And it will look really beautiful to your liking and your style.
So I hope I've given you some ideas on how to set up a fountain if you don't want to use a solar fountain because this is USB. Sometimes we don't have sun and this works out perfect. Now let me tell you something. A lot of the hummingbirds have been coming first thing in the morning before the sun is even up high in the sky taking baths because I leave it plugged in all night. And on my power bank, I got a 20,000. It runs for four days and nights, but you don't have to leave it plugged in all night. This has worked perfect, and I wanted to so show you. So set it I up any way you want. Straw. You choose I the color you want. Don't paint one, the terracotta and black one. Wait color doesn't you matter. The other fountains and styles I'm coming out with because there's going to be a whole bunch coming out. I love these pet fountains, and I've got so much more under my sleeve. So with that, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to eat what you grow. And ask questions, because maybe your questions will make me think of putting something else together really different. Bye-bye.